Hello everyone, Greg here, and today I'm going to go over the clothing I bring when I go RV. Uh, you're going to want to bring uh, what matches your needs for the conditions, but I RV uh, six months out of the year or so, a little more, and from cool to semi-cold weather to really hot weather, and this clothing works for me. Uh, if you cold weather camp, dry camp, uh, you might need some warmer stuff, but let's get started. So, I'm going to start with uh, hats. I don't have a lot of hair. I was blessed to have short hair. I don't know how people put up with long hair or uh, thick hair. But anyway, I don't have a lot of hair, so I wear it short. And I wear hats to keep the sun off so I don't get uh, skin cancer later. So, I'll start out with uh, my favorite hat is the Tilly hat. You can get them in different colors and sizes, and I really like it. It's it's a little heavier than it looks. It's pretty lightweight. It will keep you pretty cool, but it does uh, get a little warm in the hottest uh, humid weather. But that's what I wear most of the time. If it's raining and cooler, then I wear this Outdoor Research Gore-Tex hat. And I haven't had to wear it a lot. It's felt lined though, so it's war much warmer than it looks. A little harder to wear in warm weather. I think it started in uh, out in Oregon, the Pacific Northwest, where it's much cooler. So it's a, it's a little warm at times, but uh, it works. Uh, the other hat I wear next to the Tilly hat the most is just this North Face nylon hat, uh, ball cap style, very lightweight really like it uh, I've tried to find it since haven't been able to find it lately I don't really need a replacement but I hope they still make them because I really like it very lightweight I wear that a lot if I'm walking uh, especially around town uh, but like it as for socks uh, we'll go over I'll do another video on footwear so if I wear uh, socks uh, if I'm wearing shoes that need socks, most of the time, warmer weather, it's just lightweight uh, polyester socks. These have a little cushion to them. Uh, wear them with shorts or even long pants. Rarely wear longer socks now unless it's cooler weather and I'm wearing wool socks. Now these are... Uh, wool uh, darn tough brand i've got other brands rei uh, smart wool these i'm really liking right now these are my favorite uh, they fit well they seem to wear really well i've put a lot of miles on them at the park in my hiking boots and they seem to be holding up and they have a lifetime warranty i'm not sure if i'll uh, take them up on it if they do fail because I feel like they're getting good wear, but yeah, they do have a lifetime warranty. So if they fail fast, you feel like you didn't get your use out of them, uh, you could return them. Uh, the other thing I wear a lot of, just a polyester t-shirt. This is a basic one I get from uh, Academy Sports, uh, BCG brand. They're lightweight, you can get them in a bunch of colors. They're dry quick they don't hold a lot of water and in warm weather they're they're really great so i wear these a lot i will also wear these under long sleeve shirts in cooler weather because you still i still don't want cotton especially in cool weather you don't want cotton cotton gets uh holds a lot of moisture and will make you cold and if you're out in the woods it can't even act, be dangerous if it gets wet so I wear uh, polyester on for t-shirts. If I'm going to town, uh, then I wear a short sleeve nylon or polyester shirt. I think this one is nylon. If I can find the tag. Nope, it's polyester. Anyway, it's REI brand. I've got several different brands and several styles, just short sleeve button up shirt. These stay really cool, don't tuck them in. Uh, this one behind it, just like it except long sleeve. 
again polyester breathable lightweight and this coupled with the uh, polyester t-shirt will keep you plenty warm and not absorb moisture so it'll rip away sweat and dry quickly if you're going more casual going hiking or whatever uh, you can wear something like this I picked this up at Sears, I don't even remember the brand. Uh, Nordic track, like the exercise equipment. Polyester. Uh, it's fairly heavyweight, kind of like uh, long johns, I guess. But I wear this with the uh, polyester t shirt under it. And if you're active, it'll keep you warm in uh, surprisingly cool conditions. Throw a jacket over it if you need to. And lastly, as an outer layer, which I should do, I'll follow up a video at some point with outerwear. But this is an Eddie Bauer fleece. Cut cheese on sale for 16 17 bucks at the outlets. And what I like about this, this is one's lightweight. It's about half the weight of a normal fleece. Now, I have the normal fleece for colder weather, but this one's about half. You wear this over your other clothing, and it's more than enough in a lot of conditions. Especially if you're active uh, and anything less than uh, more than freezing weather because if you're active you'll get too hot so you can throw this on it'll really keep you warm it doesn't cut the wind you can put a shell on to cut the wind if you need to but I really like it and lastly for uh, pants I wear the uh, nylon convertible zip-off pants so there's a zipper here just above the knee. Uh, I can wear these. I wear these in sub-freezing weather because if you're active, they're fine. They will look wind through. If you're in windy weather, the wind will get through. Uh, so you can wear some uh, long johns under them if you need to, which I haven't had to do a lot. But I wear these. I don't even wear jeans or anything heavy like that anymore. They're just uh, too heavy. I live near Atlanta. It gets too hot and humid uh, for jeans most of the year. So I've switched to these. These really breathe. They stay cool. Uh, they'll stay warm in the winter if you're active. Like I said, I hike in them in, in uh, below freezing weather, and I don't even wear anything under them. If you're moving, you'll be plenty warm. Now, they're not the sturdiest, sturdiest of clothing. They will tear if you don't watch it. I've only done that once, though. I've been wearing them for years. And they've only done that to me once. And uh, you'll notice this pair too has the belt, built in belt, nylon belt, the clip, cinch it down. This one will lose, you'll have to tighten it occasionally. But uh, I'm wearing a, another pair right now as I do this video that's zipped off the shorts. So this is the clothing I wear. I didn't go over underwear, uh, I do wear nylon underwear. I won't make you look at that. Uh, but anyway, it's Ex Officio brand. Uh, there are other brands, Under Armour and what, whatever. But they're nylon, very lightweight. If you ever switch to them, you'll never want to go back to cotton or even the cotton poly blend. These are thin and lightweight, don't hold moisture, dry fast, very comfortable. So I got into those when I was riding my motorcycle, uh, traveling in it. And I, I love them, so I wear them anytime I go out camping or hiking or whatever. Uh, but that's it for clothing. I need to do one on outerwear, but I don't have all the stuff I need. It's, you know, 80 degrees here and I didn't bring it all. But I may follow up an outerwear video later. But for clothing, uh, this, what I showed you, is pretty much covers me for RVing season. And really covers me for most of the year short of the outerwear. So if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and please like and subscribe.